It's definitely overwhelming and kind of unexpected. You know, in high school, I didn't even do track, and I was just some kid who sat inside and played video games all day. If you told me then I, I was going to almost make the Olympics and be competing for Canada, I'd be like, no, not happening. <laughs> of a jumper and he's got the speed of a sprinter so it's, it's super cool to see a guy that that big actually you know leading up to, to his potential if you asked me two years ago oh huh, Pierce what would you be doing right now I, would, I wouldn't say I'm a Commonwealth medalist honestly I just feel really fortunate to have our busy training and have all the benefits he's given me and allowing, allowing me to do all this Pierce has been able to be so good so fast because he's focused you know he's got these talents and and the thing in the track and field is it's very mental He's able to bring it, you know, he's hungry for it. Pierce Lepage, twice the Canadian champion. Usually I'm not someone to have a lot of nerves going into the event. Eyeballs out, leave it all on the track. Going into the Commonwealth Games, my first big team, first thing. Getting out and walking in and go out and you look out and there's a huge crowd everywhere. The nerves get to you and I think it, it definitely did for the first couple of events, but after that I set, settled right in. And Lepage kept the Australian in his sights and kept his hands on the silver medal. I guess getting a medal in your first like first big competition, first multi-sport thing is definitely special. It was weird. When I won, my first thought was, okay, what's next? This isn't the big thing for me at the beginning. The ultimate dream for a track athlete. You want to go to the Olympics, you want to represent your country and open planning to go to Tokyo and do well, hopefully as well as Commonwealth. 